Do you feel like you're gaining too much weight because you're eating too many nuts? That definitely might be a possibility. At first, people might think, well, nuts are keto friendly, they're high in protein, fat, and low in carbs, right? Well, not all nuts are low in carbs. Now on keto, you wanna aim for between 20 and 50 grams of carbs per day. In fact, the more you wanna lose weight, the slower the metabolism, the lower you wanna target your carbs for. But check this out. Let's just take peanuts, for example. And peanuts are definitely something that are very easy to overdo. Just one cup of peanuts, which isn't that much, is about 146 grams, comes out to 24 grams of carbs, right? So that's just 24 grams. So if you're trying to um, shoot for 20 grams, you've already exceeded that 20 gram carbs per day limit. And don't forget all the other food that you eat, there might be carbs in that as well. So peanuts and then peanut butter. One cup, it's 258 grams. That's 50 grams of carbs, okay? So let's say you're doing the celery, like I just did a video on celery and peanut butter and you're, you're dishing this thing out. If you buy these containers of peanut butter, sometimes they're about 16 ounces. So half of that is one cup, eight ounces. It's actually not hard to do half of that. And that's 50 grams of carbs. Okay, pistachios, another real easy nut to overdo. One cup is about 146 grams. I mean, you just say dinner, you're having some pistachios and pretty soon you've just done three cups. Well, one cup is 35 grams, okay? All right, almonds, much better. One cup is 146 grams. It's only 14 grams of carbs, okay? So, I mean, you could definitely overdo almonds as well. Almond butter is much better than peanut butter, but it, it is high in oxalates. So if you have a tendency to have kidney stones, not a good idea. But almonds, one cup, 258 grams is about 21 grams of carbs. Pecans are a much better nut as far as low carbs. I like pecans better than other nuts. One cup, 146 grams, only four grams of carbs. So watch Consuming Too Many Nuts if you wanna stay in keto. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, 
okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.